Hi everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am really excited to be here to do a video on the Sudoku that I am going to do today. It is called Numbered Room Sudoku and it has been created by Kodak. Uh, I first saw this on the uh, CTC Discord server on the uh, Sudoku recommendations thread. It was uh, praised very highly by the person who recommended it. So then I went on to Logic Masters Germany portal and saw some of the feedbacks there. Uh, this is an absolutely mind blowing Sudoku uh, guys. The logic in the Sudoku is just so good. Uh, just I'll show you some of the comments in this Sudoku. You can see here, this is the uh, LMD page where this was posted. You can see the feedback here. And uh, the first comment is by GRKLES. Uh, an author on whose Sudoku we have made a video in the past. He said that such a wonderful puzzle and I'm very very glad to have inspired it. And uh, the second comment that was lots of fun and aha moments, rewarding deductions all the way and a taste ending. So all the feedback seems to suggest that this is a really beautiful puzzle. For example, you can see here that uh, it, it is this feedback says that it is a brilliant puzzle and especially loud the ending. Thanks Kodak. So I tried this Sudoku out and uh, I found it exactly to be the same uh, as mentioned in some of the feedbacks. It's such a beautiful puzzle guys. So I'm excited to make a video on the Sudoku. I've tried this out uh, previously and uh, I thank the author Kodak for uh, give, allowing us to make a video on the Sudoku. Uh, if you want to try this yourself, the link to solve is given in the description of the video. Please do give it a try and come back and watch the video. So I'll uh, jump into the rules now. Classic rules apply each row, each column and three by three box in the grid has digits one to nine without repetitions. Then the numbered rooms comes into play. So I will explain it in my own words after uh, reading the uh, rules uh, verbatim. Clues outside the grid indicate the digit which has to be placed in the n cell in the corresponding direction where n is the digit placed in the first cell in that direction okay so let's say we take this three clue and suppose uh, this is the first cell in this direction let's say we have a seven here so then the seven cell from this direction one two three four five six seven has to be a three so uh, the first cell kind of acts as a pointer to where the clue given outside goes in this direction, right? So we'll see another example. Let's say we have a seven here, right? And um, let's say the first digit is a two. Then which means that the second cell in this direction must be a seven, right? An interesting uh, variant. I first saw this in the Sudoku variant series uh, created by Richard. I haven't seen this Sudoku much previously. Maybe uh, I've solved it in one of the WSCs. Uh, World Sudoku Championships, I'm not exactly sure. And uh, so the final part of the rule is that an X between two cells means that the digits add up to 10. So uh, you have X here, so which means that you could have, let's say one and nine here or two and eight, three, seven or four, six. And not all possible X clues are necessarily given, which means that you can, for example, have something like this without the X. So vice versa doesn't apply. So these are the rules and interesting set of rules. So we'll uh, start the Sudoku now. So the first thing I noticed when I solved the Sudoku was uh, the pattern of the clues. You can see that there are three, three, threes, two, two, twos, eight, 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 seven, seven, sevens. And I was wondering if we could do something with that. And in fact, you can do something. So the idea is we know that uh, three rows of a Sudoku will have exactly three instances of any digit, right? So, uh, if for example in this box you have one eight, the second eight goes into this box in a different row. Let's say you have an eight here, which means that the eight in this box either goes in this row or this row. But let's say we have here, doesn't matter. Just for the sake of explanation, let's say the eight goes here. Now the third eight will obviously go in here, right? So which means that the first cell, I mean these cells which are highlighted in red should act as pointer for these eight. So which means that one of the uh, clues would have to be a one, two or a three. 
the other would have to be a four, five or a six, and the other would have to be a seven, eight or a nine. So this is the first thing that uh, you need to notice in this Sudoku. Whenever you have three same clues in adjacent uh, uh, columns or adjacent rows of uh, boxes, they will always be one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. So if you have, let's say the eight here, then that rule does not apply because these are not uh, three boxes, right? You cannot uh, use the same deduction when the eight is given, let's say here. It needs to be uh, along a set of boxes like this. And if you look at these seven clues, they are along these last three boxes, right? So this is the first thing I would like to say in this Sudoku. And the next thing to observe about this Sudoku is that when you have a seven or any clue except one outside, so we have clues except one outside. So then you cannot have the same clue here. So for example, you cannot have a seven here because if you do so, this acts as a pointer. So the seven cell in this direction again needs to be a seven and that leads to a clash, right? However, you can have, for example, if this is a one, you could have a one here. In fact, this is the only clue which can be in the first cell and one will act as a pointer to itself and be there. So no other clue given outside will have uh, a one as the starting digit, right? Because that would create a violation. If you have a one here, then this would have to be three and that is not possible. The second thing is uh, you cannot have a three as the starting digit or rather the clue which is given outside as the starting digit because then three needs to be again here and that leads to a clash. So these are some of the important things to solve this Sudoku and with that we'll start solving this Sudoku now. So how do we go about this? Okay, uh, look at these three clues. One of these digits would be one, two, three. One of these would be four, five, six. One of these would be seven, eight, nine. Obviously you cannot have one as the uh, digit here because that would lead to a clash regardless of wherever it goes. So which means that you either have two or three in one of the cells, but can you have a three? We just saw that if you have a three, then it leads to a three in another cell. So which means that from one to three set, you cannot have one and three. So which means two must be in one of these three cells. I hope I'm clear. And the reason is because one of these cells would have to take a one, two, three, as we saw here, one of these cells would have to take a four, five, six, and the uh, one of these cells would have to take a seven, eight, nine. So one and three were eliminated. So two must be in one of these three cells. And uh, whichever uh, it goes into, three must go in here. And similarly, if you look at uh, these three cells, uh, they are all in adjacent boxes. I mean, by adjacent boxes, I mean these three boxes, right? So you cannot have one in any of these cells because which means that regardless of wherever you have one, two has to be on the same cell that is not possible. And again, you cannot have the same clue as the uh, cell outsides because if you have a two here, then you need to again have a two here. That is not possible. So which means that three must be in one of these cells. And I'm, I, I, again, I'm going to stress on the fact for people who are still not clear. The reason I'm putting three in one of these cells is because of the fact that when you have the same clues outside, one has to be one, two, three, one has to be four, five, six, another has to be seven, eight, nine, as we saw at the start. And one and two, if you eliminate, then three is the only one left, right? So three is in one of these uh, three cells. And that means that two must be in one of these three cells because this acts as a pointer and two must go in one of these three cells, right? So three uh, eliminates the three from here. And which means that you cannot have a two here, right? Because if you have a two here, then the second cell from this direction would be a three, but you already have a three here. So two is eliminated here and you already have a two here. So two is not here, which means this can't be a three. So this would have to be a two and this would have to be a three. Beautiful logic guys. What a beautiful logic. It's just overflowing with uh, logic honey, I would say. These kind of Sudokus are so enjoyable to solve. So we got this three, this clue is done now. Which means this X is now uh, one plus nine or four plus six. No other option. 
and one of these cells is 4, 5, 6 and the other would be 7, 8 and 9 and it is obvious that this cell is 7, 8, 9 because you have the three in these three cells which means that it could be uh, the first cell could be 7, this one or 8 or 9 so 7, 8, 9 and this would obviously be 4, 5, 6 which means that uh, one of these three cells would have to be a 3 Uh, now let's look at the sevens. So how do we go about it? Right, one is obviously eliminated. One of these three cells must be one, two, and three, and it cannot be one because then uh, one will map to the same cell, and we need seven in the same cell. Not possible. And two is possible, right? You can have the sevens here. So two is a possibility, and three is also possible. 7 would go here. So we can't say anything about uh, whether it is 2 or 3 at this point. So let's see if something else is there. Okay, now we have a super sharp reduction. Can this be a 3? If this is a 3, then this 2 would go here. And remember that one of these cells would have to be 1, 2, 3, other would be 4, 5, 6, other would be 7, 8, 9. Because you have 2, 3 here, so one of these cells would be a 1. And whichever cell is 1, the same cell would have to be 8. And that leads to a clash. So which means that this is not a 3. Right? So 3 is in one of these cells. 2 is in one of these cells. So which means that the x can be satisfied. This becomes a 2, 8. And we need to have a 2 or a 3 in here, right? So if this is a 2, 8 goes here. And if this is a 3, then 8 goes here. Okay, I don't see any problem with that. So let's revisit the 7s now. Okay, so if you look at these three cells, none of these are 7, right? Which means that we can't have 8 in here, right? If you have 8 in here, then 7 maps here and uh, that is simply not possible. So which means that 8 is not going, so we need to have 7 or a 9. But can you have a 7? As we saw at the start, except the outside clue being 1, if it is any other clue outside, you cannot have the same clue as the starting digit. Because if you have 7 in any of these cells, then the 7 cell will also be a 7 and that would lead to a clone that's having same digits in the same row or column. Not possible. So 8 is eliminated, 7 is eliminated. So which means that one of these cells would be a 9 and one of these cells would be a 7. And because we eliminated 3 from here, this cannot be a 9. That's 7 or 8. So we need to determine uh, if we have 2 or 3 in here, right? Okay, I have a 2 in here, I have a 2 in here, which means 2 goes in one of these 3 cells, normal classic. So what is this going to be? Uh, if this is 9, this is a 7. Okay, there is no issue with that. Ah, 
very nice so look at these three twos so one of these cells would have to be 7 8 and 9 it is obviously not an 8 and it cannot be a 7 as well so which means that 9 is going in one of these three cells and that means that the 9 cell would have to be 2 so 2 is going in one of these three cells very nice so can we do further here so 9 gives a 2 here a 2 here and 8 here okay so now coming over to this cell because we got a 2 here so 2 cannot be in any of these cells and uh, 1 is already eliminated so which means that 3 must be in one of these 3 cells beautiful guys beautiful so you have a 3 here so that's not a 3 so either this is 3 or this is 3 but if this cell is 3 then 7 is forced here because the third cell from this direction has to be a 7 and that forces another 3 here because of the x right so which means this is not a 3 so that becomes 3 forcing the 7 here and forcing an 8 here and which means the 8 cell from this direction would have to be a 3 so uh, 3 is removed from here now uh, looking at this 2 clue the third cell from this direction has to be a 2 awesome guys awesome sudoku so that gives an 8 here no wonder this has been rated very highly on the portal so that removes the 2 from here okay so we got 3 7 9 here so which means this one has to be a 4 plus 6 or a 2 plus 8. Okay, let's look at this 7 clue now. Uh, what can this cell contain? 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. Obviously, 1 is ruled out. 4, 5, 6, and 9. Okay, everything is possible. Okay, we can't have 2 and 8 here because if you have 2 and 8 here, how are you going to map this 8? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 is in the 7th or 8th cell and you can't have neither because 7 is already here and if you have an 8 here, then you need to have an 8 again here then that is leading to a clash. So this cannot be 2 and 8, which means that would be 4 and 6. That's good. So uh, this cannot be 7, 8, 9. Can it be 1, 2 or a 3? Not possible, right? Because if you have 1 here that is leading to a clash and 2 is already in these two cells because of this 9. And if you have a 3, 8 is forced here which is leading to a clash again. So which means this can only be from the set 4, 5 and 6 but you have a 4, 6 pair here. So that is a 5 giving an 8 here. The fifth cell from that direction would be 8. And now uh, because you have a 4, 6 here and you need one of uh, the digits to be from the set 4, 5, 6. So one of these cells would be a 5. And that becomes a 5, 9 pair now. Awesome. 3, 5, 9, 4, 6, 7. So this would be 1, 2, 8. You have a 2, 8 here. So that is a 1. This becomes 2, 8. And this 5 here means that one of these cells would be a 7. Okay, look at this 8. This can from be from the set 1, 2, 3 or 7, 8, 9 because 4, 5, 6 is already done but it cannot be 1, 2 and 3. 3 is ruling out the 8 and 1 is already eliminated, right? So which means this would be a 7, 8 or a 9. And 9 is not possible so it is 7 or 8 mapping to this 8. And 8 is definitely ruled out, right? Because if you have 8 here then the 8 cell from that direction would be again 8. So that is 7. Oops. That's 7, which means this is 8, that is 2. And now this would be 1, 2 or a 3, 1 is ruled out, 3 is ruled out. So this is 2, which means this would be pointer to 8, so that is 8. And 8 goes in these 3 cells using classic. And this can't be 8 because then it would map to the 3 here, but you already have a 3 here. So which means these would be 8s. 
and now if because you have two here this would be a nine acting as the pointer that becomes a nine and now this would be from the set four five or a six so correspondingly giving a two in these three cells now let's look at this one it can't be three five nine two and eight so obviously this would be one four six and seven so if you have a one here so one more small trick is that when you have two same clues uh, facing each other like this you have a one here you have a one here then the extreme cells starting from both the direction must invariably sum to a 10 because if you have a one here let's say you have one here then this would uh, become nine right and nine plus one is ten so same thing if you have a one here so this becomes a two and this would be the eight cell so this would become eight and eight plus two is uh, ten again so when you have same clues outside the extreme cells will always sum up to ten okay so which means that two is ruled out here because if this is two this would have to be eight not possible one is ruled out because if this is one this would have to be nine one is also ruled out so corresponding to four six seven this would be six four three but three is also ruled out so which means this would be a four six pair and which means this cannot be four six anymore that becomes one and nine but this cannot be a one because then this cell would be a two so which means this is a nine that is a one and corresponding to four and six here you will have a pencil mark of one in one of these two cells fantastic right what a solve path guys kodak really an awesome construction so one is not in these cells so this is one this would be four or six along this column seven goes in one of these two cells look at this x it cannot be one plus nine two plus eight or three plus seven this is going to be a four plus six and which means these three cells must be three five nine uh, you have got a three five here so that is a nine and this becomes a three five pair So you have a four six pair here these cells can't be four six so four six gets locked here which means this would be a one three pair and this three resolves that that's a three that's a one and this would be a two nine pair now so this box is getting completed so this would be a one seven pair so where do we go now maybe look at this cell you have one nine Two five seven. So this would be a three four six. Eight is in here. So eight can't be here, right? So three cannot be the first digit because that would be the same clue then. So three is not here. Four or six, which means either this is three or this is three, and both could be possible, right? And for this seven clue, nine is ruled out because that forces seven here, which is not possible. So this is not a nine. And which means these three cells would be a seven one of these three cells okay this becomes a three eight pair for the column i'll remove the corner So I have a seven in here, seven in here. So seven goes in one of these two cells. Nine goes in one of these two cells using classic rules. So where do we go now? Okay, a nine here resolves this two nine pair. That's a nine, that's a two. eight is in here eight is in here and eight is in here so that's an eight and now this would be four five or a six right because you have seven here eight nine one two three so this is four five six 
one is in here one is in here so which means one gets here so that gives me a one two pair that is a one and two Okay, I have a 4, 6 here, right? So which means this can't be 4, 6. So that's a 5. And now 4, 6 uh, gets locked into these cells. So that would be a 7. That becomes a 4 and 6, which means this would be a 5. So 5, 7, 8, 3, 4, 6. So these would be uh, 1, 2, 9. And 7 now gets pushed here in row 4. So 7 is here. Because of these 7s, seven, 7 goes here. That would be a 4, 5, and 6. So, what am I supposed to see here? Okay, I have a 5 here. This can be resolved. That's a 3, that's a 5. And 3 is not anymore here. So which means correspondingly the pointer to that cannot be a 5. And 9 in this column has to go in these two cells. Hmm. Can we resolve these seven set? Uh, both could be possible, right? Okay. So uh, the 3 in column 7 has only th uh, two options, 3 is in one of these two cells, right? Because of the 3 is here, 3 is going here. These two cells must be 4, 6 and 7 for the row, row 1. So 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 6 and 7, this becomes a 5, 9 pair. So uh, in other, if this were a classic, you would have a deadly pattern here. But this is a very unfortunately, so we can conclude that this Sudoku is not yet broken. So this is 5 and 9, this is a 5, 9. So that gives me a 5 and 9 in this column here. Okay. Okay, this cell, 5, 8, 9, 1 and 2 cannot be 3. So this would be a 4, 6 and 7. So we have a 5-9 pair here. You can notice that there is a 5-9 pair here. This is a 9. 7 goes here. This is a 5. So 1 and 8 in column 8 has to go in these 3 cells. Okay. I'm not making any progress here. Okay. So I think we need to use some coloring at this point. Let's see. So we'll start with this cell. This is red. Then this would have to be red. Because whatever gets in here has only one cell left in row 1. So if this is 4, 4 goes here. If this is 6, 6 goes here. So both of these are red. And whatever goes here would be opposite of this. So let's mark it using a different color, maybe yellow. And which means this would be opposite of that and it becomes red. This becomes yellow, this becomes red.
Okay, so something interesting we have got here. So I'm going to say that both of these are reds or of the same color, I would say. Because if you have a 4 here, then the 3 is forced here, which means the 3 in row 4 gets forced here. You'll notice that there is a 3 in one of these two cells and 3 in one of these two cells. So if this is 4, 3 goes here, 3 goes here, this is 4. And if this is 6, 3 goes here, 3 goes here, and this is 6. So both of these are going to be the same color. So let's mark it red. And which means that is yellow, that is red. Okay, let's use some uh, pencil marks here. 2, 5, 9, 4 and 6. So we need 1, 3, 7, 8. You can't have 1 and 8 here. So that is a 3 and a 7. And this would be uh, neither 1 or a 7. So this is 3 and 8. Beautiful. So 2, 5, 9, 4 and 6. So this cannot be uh, 1 or a 7 because 1 goes in one of these two cells because of this one. And 7 goes in one of these three cells. So this is 3 or 8. And you have a 3, 8 pair now. Superb. So this is not a 3. Giving me the 3 here. So the 2 in column 7 goes in one of these two cells. Hmm. Am I missing something easy here? I have a feeling that I'm missing something here. Okay, what is this cell? Uh, cannot be 7. So this would be 138 and this would be 178. Because 2, 5, 9, 4 and 6 and 3 is ruled out. So this would be 178. Uh, can we rule out anything from here? Ah, you have a 3 here and a 3, 8 pair here. Uh, I don't know how long I was missing that. So 8 is here, 3 is here. And that 3 gives me an 8 here, which means this is not 8. So that's 1 and 3. That is not 8. That is 1 and 7. And which means 8 in row 7 has to go here. I mean 8 in row 4, right? 8 in row 4 goes here. So uh, I have 2, 3, 8, 5 and 9. Let's see where the 1 goes. So 1 in column 8 goes in one of these two cells. So for now we are getting a lot of pencil marks. Ah, I missed a very, very straightforward reduction, guys. Look at this clue, 5. Which means that the pointer for this one is 5 and this would have to be 2. I've been missing that for ages, I think. Sorry for that. It's easy to miss such things in uh, the Sudoku's. Uh, so which means 2 in column 7 now goes into here. This is not a 2. And now uh, the 2 in row 6 goes into one of these two cells. So look at this row now. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 8, 5, 9. So this would be a 4, 6 and a 7. Hmm. So have I uh, made all the uh, necessary digits? So this is 5, this is 2, this is 3, 2, 9, 2, 7, 8, 5, 8, 2, 8. Okay, 3, 7, 4, 5, 6. So 7 is going here. Okay, 4 or 6, either this or this. Okay, 4 or 6, either this or this. 4 or 6, either this or this. 3. So 8 would be 3, second would be 3. Okay, I seem to have made all the necessary marks.
not certain what I'm missing here. Even though I've solved this previously, I can't remember now. Mm. Has to perhaps do with some classic step. Okay, so uh, where does the one go in row five? One can't be here, and because one is in one of these two cells, one cannot be here. So which means there is only one cell left for the one. One is not here, so this would be a one. And now one is not here. So which means that this cannot be five, right? Because if we got a one here, so this cannot be the pointer cannot be a five. So that is a nine, which means nine cell would be seven. So that is four or six. And this would be a 5, which means this would be a 7. So we're getting some good progress. And this 9 resolves this 9, 5 pair. 9 and 5, which means this would be a 4 and a 6. And now because this is red, it would have to go into here. So that would be red, giving yellow here, giving red here. And giving yellow here, right? So uh, now just look at the red cells. Red would be in one of these three cells, right? Using classic Sudoku. But red cannot be in this cell because it's in here and red cannot be in this cell as well. So this would be the red 4 and 6. And let's mark that. And now if you look at this cell, uh, look, look at this row. Just because we used this coloring, we could uh, know for certain that this can only be 4 or 6. So the 9 in this row has only one cell now. 9 would have to go here. That becomes a 4, 5, 6. Fantastic guys, fantastic. So this is 4, 5, 6 for this row. How long has the video gone? 37 minutes, okay. Okay, if I look at row 6, there is a 4, 5, 6 triplet and 3 and 8 so which means these two cells must be 1 2 7 and 9 this cannot be a 9 or rather uh, is there a simpler way no this would be a 1 2 and 7 right because it can't be 9 let me remove all these pencil marks guys they are really kind of confusing now we are just going to remove the corner pencil marks so if I look at this cell, this can only take a, uh, uh, take the candidates 1, 2, 7. And that gives me another triplet in this row. 1, 2, 7. And you also have 8 and 9 here. So this would be 4, 5, 6 and 7. And 7 cannot be here. So giving us the 7 here. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, 1, 2, 7, 8 and 9. So these would be 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And 5 is not here. This is 3, 4, and 6. Hmm. So, I don't know. There is some reduction. Uh, I'm missing here. So, uh, can we do something with the yellows? So, any of these cells could still be a 7. So, nothing much there. What am I missing here? This is 4 or 6. So if this is 4, this would be 3, this would be 6, Okay, this is a tough deduction guys, very tough to see.
can this be a 4? Because if this is 4, what happens to this cell? This becomes 6. So which means the pointer for this clue is 6 and it, this becomes 3. And because this is 4, this becomes 7. And now look what this cell can become. It cannot be 7, it cannot be 3. Uh, maybe there are uh, many maybe there is a bypass to this uh, step i'm not certain but this cannot be four we'll use that in our solve so this is five or six meaning that this this cannot be a seven because four is just removed from here so this cannot be a seven that is a one giving a three giving a seven and that is not a seven so that's four and six giving an yellow here so which means this would be a three and which means this would be the 6, the pointer would be 6. And now we have determined all the uh, status of reds. Gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous logic. Kodak uh, really deserves his weight in gold for uh, this, uh, creating this Sudoku. Such a fantastic creation, guys. So all the uh, yellows now become 4. Right? All these are 4s. And because of this 6, we get a 5 here, a 4 here. This one resolves this one nine pair. That's one. That's nine. This would be a four five. That can be resolved. That's a five. That's a four. One three five six four eight nine. So this would be a two seven pair. And uh, this row can be completed. Row five, I mean four. And row four can be completed. Would be a five nine. And we are in for a beautiful and uh, really picturesque finish. I would say. So five here gives me a five here. A 9 here and now it's time to resolve this seemingly extended a deadly pattern but obviously there must be a way to resolve this let us see and the way to resolve this is by looking at this clue there is a 5 here which means this would be a 7 giving a 2 giving a 2 1 1 and 7 and it says looks good to me time has stopped and obviously the sudoku is correct what an excellent creation as i said uh, Kodak deserves his weight in gold for creating such a beautiful Sudoku. Uh, it's just overflowing with logic nectar. I really enjoyed solving this Sudoku. It was so fantastic. Uh, starting from the uh, idea that when we have same three clues outside adjacent across boxes, one must be one, two, three, other must be four, five, six, other must be seven, eight, nine. You can see uh, the same thing applying to all these clues. One is out from the set one, two, three, the other is from four, five, six, other is from seven, eight, nine. Same here, same here, and same here. And when you have same clues outside, they must add up to 10, the extreme clues. So with these steps, we are able to tackle this uh, really tough Sudoku. Hope this was enjoyable. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. And remember to subscribe to the channel. We hope to see you soon with a video. Bye-bye.